Is this thing recording? Well, hello there, General Kenobi. Welcome to my village. And it's because of this view that I decided to make it my first village. You see, I got lost trying to find my way back to the base that my friend started. And when I came across it, I just fell in love. And now I've reorganized it. And I'm super excited because it's going to make everything a lot more efficient. For example, now I have more space for my grill and my juicer. I have the gem cutter and stone breaker together, boxes for everything in this room, including the loom, it rhymed, the spinning wheel. Oh yeah, do you like my bench? Oh, look at that. Even though it's uh, rainy, I think that's kind of nice. Extra storage. Now, before I go in here, let me just show you what the old place looked like. When I first started building it up, I wanted to keep space limited for the buildings, and I wanted all these barrels along the structure because I thought that would be the best way to organize it for me. And it worked, and it would have still worked, but I thought I could make it more concise. And especially, it would get cramped in this area, so it really was not very efficient. All right, and now that we're back here, you can see a lot more. And maybe I need to put another light over there, but clean and it's organized for what I do. So I have the essence table to kind of build up my weapons, make them durable. I have my smelter next to my bench because I'm smelting iron and copper because once you go iron you never go Byron. Yeah. Now over here, actually I'm gonna add a light right now. See? Look at that. We build as we go. And we got villagers just stuck in the corner. Now, I'm really happy with what I did here. I went old school, and I put recipes in boxes. So, for example, an iron sword takes 12 iron bars to make. That's your recipe. A purple pickaxe takes five frost pine rods and eight obsidian slab. Yes, these are real words. And so on and so forth for the weapons that I build the most of. And that's what I have really come to love. Yes, love. About Lego Fortnite. You see that long beam in the sky. Let's talk about it. I can't take credit for it. It is not my doing. My friend, however, decided to build the monorail from here all the way, all the way to the Frostlands, which you can't really see right now because of the weather. But on a clear day, and when my villagers aren't getting in my video, uh, you can see that ice mountain. Maybe you can kind of make it out, depending on the brightness, how this all turns out. And if you're watching on a phone, or your iWatch, then you're really not going to see that. But yeah. I also cleaned up the middle part of my 
spot. Now I made it an actual campfire to hang out at, that my villagers can hang out at. Look at this. We can talk about something great. I love the draw distance and the fact that you can put these campfires up, like the one way out there, and it will stay there, and it's a beacon for you. It, it guides you. It helps you navigate the world. And I just think that is absolutely in. Cred a bull. Incredible. Now that I have this village uh, reorganized, I also added some things around it. And that's for my friends. But, shh, they do not know that. That's what I love about this, is... It's up to you to tell your stories. For instance, my friend making a monorail. And I do want to share that we were able to get it over to the Frostland and back. It's just that when we made another attempt to go back, well, we ran into some complications. The fact that we were actually able to make it work just by the sliver was so much fun. And speaking of fun, that's what these are. So, I built this, this little archery setup. Because they don't break. <laughs> it really works. Ooh. Bullseye, I think. Close enough. Let's just give it to me. But if you don't have a bow and arrow, or a crossbow, I should say, and arrows, I put a crossbow and ten arrows in each of these trunks. So, I'm excited for when me and my friends will actually utilize this. You know, just something fun. Oh, okay. So, remember, yeah, when I was saying on a clear day, that sun comes out, you can see the distance. Redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Capicia? Redonkulous. Yeah, I am quoting that movie that now I don't remember what the title is. John Travolta as a pigeon? That one. So, look at that. Look at how beautiful it is. Excuse me while I eat an egg. A fried egg, I should say. Oh, look. A Dropbox falling way out there, way out there, like wow. But if you're determined and if you're careful, you can get there. You can absolutely get to that spot. Okay, admittedly, admittedly, that's a lot closer than the perception I thought it was. I thought it was way out there. That's pretty close, actually. I got myself all hyped up like, wow, I could actually see that far? Anywho, monorail. But that isn't it. That archery setup isn't the only thing. Let me show you this house down here. Hope you don't mind if we use the expressway to get there. As you can see, one of these buildings don't quite look like the other. That's because
Because yes, you're correct. Your ASMR friend built this house with my own brick hands. Let's close that door behind us, shall we? And not much in here. Got a chair. And what's in here? Four pieces of dynamite. Interesting. Oh, and what's this? A barrel of dynamite? There's a barrel of dynamite right there, too. Yes. It's like one of those uh, anger zones. Those places where people go and just destruct, destroy things. Got another one there. And I blocked it off for no reason. But there's one in there. And it's directly above this one. Because it will fly. Now, I'm not going to do it. I built it for my friends to use. But one of my friends I know always blows up the gas station when we play regular Fortnite. So, I think he'll get a kick out of this. Also, something I didn't realize when I established this village. This proximity to corn is insane. Look at this cornfield. There's so much. And uh, honestly, like half of this game is making sure to eat until you don't have to worry about it. Wink. Oh, wink. One last thing over here in this area. You know, just a little kind of romantic lakeside patio with drinks available. And what's in here? Well, you can have some free slurp juice as well as the totem of the immortal. So, you know, for my friends, when they explore the world and they discover it, they get rewarded. So yeah, I am super giddy about stuff like that. I've also put random statues like in the middle of the road or I've put toilet seats in the caves, you know, sinks, random bookcases, things like that. And I want to do more of that. It's really cool that I get to create these experiences for my friends. Okay, sorry. Had to Indiana Jones that. Beautiful. And just when Cyberpunk had their update, man, I haven't been to Night City for a long time, but I'm having fun in this place, so if you want to see more, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.